What up, though? And welcome back to Old School Hip Hop Head Real Reacts. I also have another YouTube channel called Reels Reactions, and on that YouTube channel, it's 99% old school golden era hip hop. So if you're ever in the mood to watch some old school hip hop reactions, all you have to do is go to the link that I'm gonna put in the description of this video. All right, man, so before I go any further, you see the hat, so let me say, welcome back to Reels. So On Sundays, baby. So today we have a request from underrated Lisa. This is long overdue. Uh, this is Donald Bird Think Twice. Now, I'm not sure, but I think uh, Lisa said that um, this is the electric relaxation sample. I'm not for sure. But either way, man, let's get into it. Hold on, that whole switch up threw me up, threw me for a loop, yo. So is this like um, a man and a woman going back and forth? They're having this conversation. He like, yo, you know, I want to be, you know, I want you to be my my girlfriend, my woman, my wife, whatever. And she like, nah, nah, we gotta we gotta really think about this, nigga, because you be wilding out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, she said they love was like fire and ice. I mean, they be. Um, happy as a motherfucker one day and want to kill each other the next, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to go back to that beat transition because that shit threw me off and it was dope. I don't even know how far back we got to go. That's that footprints. Oh my god. Oh, that's what she said. Footprint. Oh my god. Whew. Oh. Yo, I'm gonna be dead ass honest. That beat has always done something something to me spiritually, yo. Like that wakes up my hip hop go holy ghost every time I fucking hear it, son. From the first time I ever heard that out um that song. So I the first tribe cause quest song that I really got into was uh, Check the Rhyme. You know what I'm saying? I think I was in my senior in high school when that came out, maybe a freshman in college, whatever. But that was the one that got me. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't a big fan of Anita Applebaum, son. And that was the one that was being played in the Detroit, Michigan area. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I was like, eh, they on that native tongue shit. You know, I'm more into the gangster shit, so I really wasn't fucking with Tribe, yo. So, I heard um, Tribe's, I, I heard, the, I don't even remember the fucking name. How's that go? 
uh, the first album. Like I, I, I got introduced to that probably like around electric relaxation time. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I did not fuck with that first album. And then I remember the first time I heard this goddamn song, yo. And it was like a joke went through my soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just so y'all know what I'm talking about. Here it is, yo. A Tribe Called Quest Footprints. Let's get it. Start trudging. Me and my brothers, we be looking and be bugging. Vehicles of life, they be rolling and be nudging. Searching for the virgins of life, that be shoving at the door that's cracked. The valleys of time are always on my feet. At least the beat will combine the calluses and corns with a funky bass line. You won't need underdog for a nickel shoe shine on the shoes that's tacked. But can I get a level on the bass and on the travel? Footing up and down like a UNLV rebel. The answer be ambitious, for we really dig acoustics. Can't be too much backing, not too much backing. You must contain the neck at least to dip your hip and back. Your feet will be in function, so at least realize the fact. The rhythms are inserted and the nerves can be converted. This ain't rock and roll, cause the rap is in control. Something about this goddamn song and Q-Tip went crazy, yo. This shit was, yo, this my shit right here, son. Alright, let me back it up, let me back it up. I wasn't ready. <laughs> Right there. Woo! Wow. Shout out to Q Tip. Shout out to Q Tip, yo. That's it right there. Why Donald Bird wouldn't fill in it as much as Q Tip was, son? Do it again. Pause. Let that go. That better, this better be the intro, outro. This better be the outro. I want a 90 second outro of this right here, Donald Bird. That's what I need, I need that.
let's go. About a minute and 30 seconds, let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh we back. Yeah. Be honest with you, yo. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna say that comment, this comment to the end. Q-tip, yo. This is the definition of digging in a crate, yo. Like, he used a part of the song that apparently Donald Byrd didn't even find that great. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he only uh, touched on it for uh, two different, wait, two, two, two different times throughout the song, but not long. You know what I mean? So, Q-Tip heard that shit, man, and that is a fucking hip-hop classic, B. Alright, man, yo, so there it is. Donald Bird Think Twice. And, man, I can't say it enough. Salute to Q-Tip. You know what I'm saying? Q-Tip made a classic record out of that little bit of a sample that we heard. You know what I mean? Um, man, I just, I would love to ask Donald Bird, like, why he didn't, why he didn't fuck with that part more. You know what I mean? I would, oh man, I would have loved to heard a, a two minute outro with that going, you know what I'm saying? But um, I remember th who Donald Burr was halfway through this reaction, because I think I did another Donald Burr um, reaction. He like a horn player, you know what I mean? Um, so yo, that was dope. That was dope, man. Um, that's digging in, that's an example of fucking hip hop right there, man. Like people just thought it was a bullshit art form. You know, they didn't even, well, they didn't even think it was art. You know what I'm saying? They just thought it was bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, these dudes was literally going to all these old, old record stores all over New York City, all over the, the uh, tri-borough area, you know what I mean? Um, and they were, f they were buying these records, like this, like this one right here, finding little snippets and making masterpieces, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yo, hip-hop. Hip-hop, yo. I always say it, hip hop introduced the newer, younger generations to the older generations music, man. Like they should appreciate are the hip hop generations, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, shout out to Underrated Lisa for this request. On to the next one, I'm out.